Ki ora koutou, katoa, nau mai, haere mai. Ki te rā toku tōnga o te kura, tuarua o Meriwera. Distinguished guests, students, staff, whānau and our wider community. Greetings to you all and a warm welcome to the 2022 Melville High School Junior Prize Giving. My name's Peter O'Leary, I'm the Deputy Principal here at Melville High School and I'll be the MC for today's proceedings. And now I'd like to invite Matua Anthony Rawari from Ngāti Mahanga to open our celebration of student success with a karakia, mihi whakatau, and followed by our national anthem. Matua. <laughs> Ko tai te taima, hei timatanga i tēnei hui huinga uh, mō te ata, nō reira tēnei te mihi ki a koutou. E, e karake, e whai muri e te mihi pakatau ki a tātou katoa, uh, nō reira uh, kaunui. Whānau whinau, it's our Education Act um, karake. We sat at uh, all our hui in our board meetings for anything to do with mā tauranga, so it's a good one to learn. So if you have the time, um, you're much welcome. If you know the word, even better, but I'll all say it for us just in case you don't. Okay, kānui. Whakataka te hau ki te uru, whakataka te hau ki te tonga, ki a mā kina hena ki uta, ki a mā taratara ki tai, e hi aki ana te atākura, e te o hi hoka, e hau hu, te hei mauri ora. <coughs> E pā, i runga rawa, ko koe te timatanga me te whakamutinga o ngā mea katoa, nō reira, i te kai ana, i runga rawa, tēnei te mihi, ki a koe. I te kingi o te mut, a tūheitia pō te tau te whiruwhiru te tūāwhiti, me te whare i kāhui a riki, nā rātou e noho ana i runga i te ahure e tapu, o ngā mātua tūpuna, i re, i e hau, pai māri. I ngā aitu, i ngā mate kei wāngini a tātou, i a tau, i a mārama, i a wiki, i te rā nei. Moi mai, moi mai, moi mai rā. Moi mai rā i runga rawa, kei rā wangina koro wai ngā mātu pana i runga. Bai o te ngā hupe, ngā roimata, ki a rātou, te hunga mate, ki a tātou katoa, te hunga ora, tēnei te mei. I ngā ruri, Nā kore heki, ara, nā kau mātua, a hākua nō he nō whē, ngā waka maha o ngā hau e pā, ko tai mai, hei teitra ko te kaupapa, tēnei te mihi ki a koutou katoa, ki te hari tōku nā kau, ki te kiti e a koutou, nā tauira, mō te rā nei, nō re tēnei te mihi. Anei, Te pōari mō e hei tautoko, hei awhi, hei manāki, ko te kūpio a te whare inui, ko te manāki tanga. Koina te mea nui, ka haramai ki kona hei tautoko te kaupapa. Kāori kui mō e aki kore o hoi anō, ko te mea nui, ko tai mai nei hei tautoko te kaupapa. O reira, tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou katoa. Yeah, just above my pay grade, I don't know the words to the national anthem that well. In French I do, because I study French here, not Māori. Um, so, with that in mind, um, can we all stand up and rise and sing our national anthem? <laughs>
Waiata Tautuku, and a wonderful come home to Melbourne High School, particularly for me being an ex student. Uh, back in those um, days, that, yeah, I won't say how long ago. It's been a while, over 50 years actually. Um, so, um, thank you, Fano, uh, for giving me the opportunity to address all of you. And probably the one thing I'd say about our students, we'll be back hopefully next year, you know, um, to carry on all the mahi that you've done. So, once again, congratulations to you all for being here. <coughs> and um, I think we get a award. Anyway, I'll better finish up and say my own. So, Piti hono tātai hono, te hunga mata ki a rātai, piti hono tātai hono. Te hunga ora ki a tātai, huri no i, i tēnei whare, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou katoa. Pā, tukuna rākau ki a kui a pā. Kia ora matua, thank you. I'd like to take this time to thank students, our staff, our prize winners, whānau and our community who are here today to celebrate the success of our students. This auspicious occasion is about celebrating the academic achievements of our students. And it's fantastic that we're once again able to meet kanohi ki te kanohi with our prize giving. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that we'd love to tell COVID where to go and what we think of it. So, I'd now like to begin our award ceremony with the presentation of our Year 9 awards. These awards recognise the academic achievements of our Year 9 students. Citations will be read by our Year 9 Dean, Mr Anthony Peacham, and presented by Mrs Sangeeta Achari. Kia ora te whaino, ko Anthony Peacham toko ingoa. Kia, kia ho, te ahahi, kia ko, manga toira e wato. Greetings to Fano, warm welcome. My name's Anthony Peacham and I'm a student here. At, I'm a teacher here at Melville High. <laughs> this was a lot easier during rehearsals. <laughs> I'd like to invite the first six students to come up and claim their awards. Zayan, Fehan, Hayden, Grecian, Tiana, Quest. Zian Ali, Accommodation, Yunnan Agriculture. <laughs> Fahan Ali, Accommodation, Yunnan Science. <laughs> Hayden Allen, Accommodation, Yunnan PE. <laughs> Grecian Armani, Accommodation, Yunnan Literacy. Quest Awanui, Accommodation, Yunnan Food Technology. <laughs> students, Fano, can I just please ask you to applause when all the students are on stage, please? Thank you. Next group, Fiston. Katia, Amelia, Harley, Dayton, Jamie. Fiston Azagua, Accommodation, Yunnan PE. Amelia Boyson, Accommodation, Yunnan Science. Harley Bolton, Accommodation, Yunnan Mathematics, Social Studies and Physical Education. <laughs> Emma, Seb, Oscar, Fletcher, Tafia, Free line. Seb Costello, Accommodation, Yunnan Enterprise Studies and Had Medals Wood. Oscar Krushank, Accommodation, Yunnan Art. 
Fletcher Curran, Accommodation, Yunnan Mathematics, Science and Agriculture. Tafia Dikaz, Accommodation, Yunnan PE and Yunnan Sports Institute. Fuilan Dugan, Accommodation, Yunnan Enterprise. Nicholas, Luke, Hati, Siosi, Desire, Nathan. Nicholas Dugan, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, Social Studies, English, Science and Physical Education. Siosi, Fangapo, Commendation, Yunnan Science, Agriculture. Desire Figure Grace, Commendation Yunnan Social Studies and Sports Institute. Nathan Ford, Commendation Yunnan Enterprise Studies and Drama. <laughs> Bella, Bella, Vaughan, Kale. Manaya Justice. Bella, De Bella Gray, Commendation, Yunnan Social Studies. Kale Hawes, Commendation, Yunnan DTE and Drama. Manaya Johnson, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, English, Music and Physical Education. Remain, Keisha, Sarah, Scott, Rainer, Ella. <laughs> Tremaine Keu, Commendation, Yunnan Enterprise Studies, English, Science and Physical Education. Keisha Lange, Commendation, Yunnan Hard Middles Wood, Music and Physical Education. Sarah Mass, Commendation Yunnan Enterprise Studies, Art and English. Scott Maybe, Commendation Yunnan Mathematics, Social Studies, English, Science, Hard, Metals, Hard Materials, Metals, Sports Institute, and Physical Education. <laughs> Rainer Manny, Commendation Yunnan Science and Agriculture. Ella Mather, Commendation Yunnan Mathematics, Social Studies and Music. <laughs> Anadu, Owen, Isaiah, Daniel, Arthur, Hunter. <clears throat> Anadu Mitchell, Commendation, Yunnan Physical Education. <laughs> Owen Moana Jenkins, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics and Art. <laughs> Isaiah Morgan, Commendation, Yunnan English. Hunter Neems, Commendation, Yunnan Sports Institute. Arthur Moffitt, Commendation, Yunnan Social Studies. <laughs> Shoulders. Salma, Afina, Mahalia, Anne, Nathaniel Ryder. Salma Noor, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, Social Studies, Enterprise Studies, Art and English. Afina Parata Allen, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics and Music. Mahalia Parata Jenkins, Commendation Yunnan English. 
Nathaniel Phillip, Commendation, Yinan Mathematics and English. Ryder Palaja, Commendation, Yinan Science and Physical Education. Well done, Ryder. Right She had Memphis, Rayshiv, Olivia, Jayla, Lyle. Shahid Rahal, Commendation, Yinan, Music and Physical Education. Memphis Langi Faikawa, Commendation, Yinan Sports Institute. Rayshiv Sami, Commendation, Yinan Mathematics, English, Science. Lyle Singh, Commendation, Yinan Mathematics, Enterprise Studies and Science. Amelia, Leah, Grace, Crochet, Cassidy, Tasman. <clears throat> Amelia Tuamo, Commendation, Yinan English. Leah Tufangai, Commendation, Yinan Food Technology, Thierry Moldy and Physical Education. Grace Warren, Commendation, Yin and Social Studies, Music and Physical Education. Crochet Watera, Commendation, Yin and Mathematics, Tereo Moldy, Sports Institute. Cassidy Firepool, Commendation, Yin and Science and PE. Tasmin Atkins, Distinction, Yin and DVC. Talent, Ahilia, Page, Rico, Cure, Levi. Talent, Kassin, Commendation, Yinan, At, Distinction, Yinan, Mathematics. Ahilia Chand, Commendation, Yinan, Music. Distinction, Yinan Food Technology. Paige Davison, Commendation, Yinan Mathematics. Social Studies, Distinction, Yinan DTE, Science and Agriculture. QA Edwards, Commendation, Yinan Physical Education and Sports Institute. Levi Exted. Commendation, Yinan Agriculture, Distinction in Yinan Enterprise Studies. Taylor, Wanderlei, Lachlan, Sam, Manette, Lazar. <clears throat> Taylor Glassy, Commendation, Ian and Mathematics. Social Studies, Distinction, Yin and Drama. Vondale Hatta Mohi, Commendation, Yin and English, Tiria Moldi, 
Distinction in Yunnan DTE. Sam Horn, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, Enterprise Studies and English, Distinction, Yunnan Drama. Lachlan Holm, Holman, Distinction, Campbell Center, Yunnan Literacy. Manette Kerr, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, Social, Stu Social Studies, Enterprise Stu Studies, Art and Science, Distinction in Yunnan Agriculture. Lazar Kaiwaya, Distinction in Yunnan PE. Well done, guys. Jean, Fahim, Tyrone, Aiden, Shiloh, Navia. Quiet, please. Jean Kirby, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, Arts and Science. Distinction in Yunnan Drama, Music and Physical Education. Fahim Kalek's dad. Commendation, Yunnan Social Studies, Art, Music. Distinction in Yunnan Mathematics. Aidan Lee, Commendation, Yunnan Enterprise Studies, Art, DVC. Distinction in Yunnan Social Studies and Drama. Shiloh Leonard Drummond. Commendation, Yunnan English, Science and Music. Distinction in Yunnan Art, Drama. Navya Nya. Commendation, Yunnan Social Studies, Enterprise Studies, Art, Agriculture, Distinction in Yunnan Mathematics, Science and Physical Education. <laughs> Roman, Anne, Diane, Mortaz, Peter, Jacob. Roman Parama, Distinction in Yunnan Social Studies. Anne Pinlick, Commendation in Yunnan Science and Agriculture, Distinction in Yunnan Arts and Social Studies. Diane Pinlick, Commendation in Yunnan Arts, Science and Agriculture, Distinction in Yunnan Social Studies. Murtaz Rahal, Commendation in Yunnan Literacy. Distinction in Yunnan Hard Medals. Jacob Singh, Commendation in Yunnan English Music. Distinction in Yunnan Mathematics and Agriculture. Hinade, Brody, Kaiwaka, Edge, Anjali, Cyprus. Hinade Snowling, Distinction in Yunnan Tirio Moldi. Brody Tiho, Commendation Yunnan Mathematics and Physical Education, Distinction in Yunnan Sports Institute. Edge White, Commendation, Yunnan Social Studies and English, Distinction in Yunnan Food Technology. Anjali Bist, Commendation in Yunnan Mathematics and Agriculture and Physical Education, Distinction in Yunnan Arts and Science. Cyprus Koke Parton, Commendation in Yunnan Physical Education and Campbell Centre Mathematics with the Learning Initiatives Trophy.
Jasmine, Yana, Emmanuel, Alfred, Logan, Cohen. Jasmine Cowlin Wilson, Commendation in Yunnan Mathematics, Art, English, Science and Music, Distinction in Yunnan DVC, Physical Education and Social Studies, and First Place in Yunnan Tiria Moldy. <laughs> Yana de Guzman, Commendation in Yunnan Mathematics, Art, English and Physical Education. First place in Yunnan Enterprise Studies. <laughs> Alfred Justin Thomas, Commendation in Yunnan Mathematics, Social Studies, Enterprise Studies, English, Science and Agriculture, Distinction in Yunnan Hard Materials Metal, First place in Yunnan Physical Education and the Melville High School Year 9 Health and Physical Education Cup. <laughs> Logan Carker. Commendation. Shh, please. Commendation in Year 9 Physical Education. First equals for the Year 9 Sports Institute and the joint recipient of the Russell Wilson Trophy for the Yunnan Institute of Sports. <laughs> Cohen McManara, Commendation in Yunnan Social Studies, English, Science, Physical Education and Drama, first equals for the Yunnan Sports Institute and joint recipient of the Russell Wilson Trophy for the Yunnan Institute of Sports. <laughs> Na, Caitlin, Abigail, Shades, Afita, Rangamadie, Fakadro. Na Kavamo Unga Une, first place, um, accommodation, Yunnan Science, first place, Yunnan math Mathematics, and the Melville High School for the Yunnan Mathematics. <laughs> Caitlin Nichols, commendation, Yunnan Art, distinction, Yunnan Music, and first place, Yunnan Music. Abigail Rachel Manny, Commendation, Yunnan Mathematics, Enterprise Studies, Art and English, Distinction in Yunnan Music and Physical Education, First Place, Yunnan Food Technology, Science, Agriculture and the Melville High, Cups, the Melville High School Cup for the Yunnan Science. Shades Smith Salvation, Commendation Campbell Centre Yunnan Literacy, and first place in Campbell Centre Yunnan Mathematics. Arfita Tamati, first place in Campbell Centre in Yunnan Literacy. Rangamadie Faruhia. Commendation in Yunnan English, Science, Music and Physical Education. Distinction in Yunnan Mathematics, Enterprise Studies and Art. With first place, Yunnan DTE. <laughs> Fakado Wikia, first place in Yunnan Literacy.
Congratulations to everybody um, who received an award today. I'd just like to say before I step down is it's absolutely been such a privilege to be the year nine dean. You've all been absolutely tremendous. I wish you a safe and happy holidays. Look after each other, look after your whanau, and I will look forward to seeing you in 2023. Kakite. I'd also like to leave my congratulations to our Year 9 students for your outstanding achievements. I also would like to acknowledge Mr Peacham for your dedication and energy with our Year 9 cohort this year. We thank you, Matua, for your commitment and your passion. We'd now like to continue our award ceremony with the presentation of our Year 10 awards. These awards recognise the academic achievements of our Year 10 students. Citations will be read by the Year 10 Dean, Mrs Lee Patterson, and presented by Matui Hemi Walker. Thank you so much for coming today and to support our tamariki. Um, they have worked so well this year and it's really good to have people here to, to enjoy this moment with them. Islam, Connor, Azima, Sam, Ezekiel, Rabanoa. Islam Al Rabi, Commendation Year 10 Mathematics. Connor Elchin, Commendation Year 10 DTE. Azima Ali, Commendation Year 10 Art and Drama. Sam Bright, Commendation Year 10 English. Ezekiel Bryant, Commendation Year 10 Social Studies, DTE and Music. Rabanoa Buna, Commendation Year 10 DVC, PE and Ag Hort. <laughs> Trinity, Cornelius, Calais, Shane, Holden, Chloe. Cornelius Fox, Commendation Year 10 PE and Science. Calais Grace, Commendation Year 10 Social Studies and Music. Shane Graham, Commendation Year 10 PE. Holden Gunn, Commendation Year 10 Social Studies and Mathematics. Pamela, Sapphire, TJ, Neil, Jackson, Tamati. TJ Miller, Commendation Year 10 PE. Neil Mitchell, Commendation Year 10 PE and Campbell Centre Year 10 Literacy. Jackson Mosin. Commendation Year 10 Social Studies, English and Science. Tamati Nui, Commendation Year 10 English. <laughs> Laura, Malachi, Kayla, Wilson, Maya, Eli.
Laura Ordonez Otado, Commendation Year 10 PE. Malachi Ormsby, Commendation Year 10 PE. Zalita Taylor Kamali Keely Taal Andrew Zalita Rowan Commendation Year Ten Art Keely Shrub Commendation Year Ten Mathematics and Art Taal Simon Green Commendation Year Ten Literacy. Andrew Stevenson, Commendation Year 10, Social Studies, Mathematics and Art. <laughs> Orchid, Jadeen, Tapaya, Kyra, Nevea, Aries. Jadine Tinuifili, Commendation, Year 10 Mathematics, English and PE. Kyra Vallis, Commendation, Year 10 English, Music, PE, Science and Drama. Nevaeh Warren, Commendation, Year 10 PE. Aries Williams, Commendation, Commendation Year 10 Mathematics. <laughs> Brianna Wilson, oh sorry, Brianna Nidus Philemon, Chiara Arnell Kendall. Nidus Wilson, Commendation, Year 10 English. Philemon Amani, Commendation, Year 10 Mathematics and English. Distinction, Year 10 Literacy. Arnel Awanui, Commendation, Year 10 Social Studies. Distinction, Year 10 Hard, metal, hard Materials Metal. Kendall Beer, Commendation. Commendation Year 10 PE and Drama Distinction Year 10 Social Studies. <laughs> Xander, Charlotte, Vaughan, Noah, Faris, Saleh. Vaughan Dunn, Commendation Year 10 Social Studies, Distinction Year 10 DTE. Ferris Gardner, Distinction Year 10 Te Reo Māori. Sally Gozari, Commendation Year 10 Mathematics and Science, Distinction Year 10 Hard Materials Wood and PE. Bo, Terangi, Kelei, Connor, Breeze, Maria. Bo Hazlitt, Commendation, Year 10 Mathematics and English, Distinction, Year 10 PE. Terangi, Katani Claire, Commendation, Year 10 Music and PE, Distinction, Year 10 Art. Kelei Langi, Commendation Year 10 Social Studies and Hard Materials Metal. <laughs> Distinction Year 10 PE. <laughs> Natalia 
Kurt, Vinatali, Noah, Apera, Benjamin. Natalia Ngamukapuna Mason, Commendation Year 10 English, Distinction Year 10 Art. Kurt Roberts, Commendation Year 10 Enterprise Studies and Science, Distinction Year 10 Social Studies and English. Vinatali Salingi, Commendation Year 10 Social Studies, Music and Science, Distinction Year 10 Mathematics and Food Technology. Benjamin Teo Fraser, Distinction Year 10 Mathematics. Ben, ben, ben. Kayla Amish, Daniel Kavan, Dan Rinchika. Kayla Wolf, Distinction Year 10 Science. Amish Bist, First Place Year 10 Mathematics and English, Melville High School Cup for Year 10 Mathematics. Gwyneth Jordan Trophy for top year 10 English student. <laughs> Daniel Brooks, Commendation Year 10 DVC and Science, first place year 10 DTE, Young Cup for Junior Computer Programming. <laughs> Kavan Davis, first First place, year 10, year 10, Hard Materials Wood. Dan de Guzman, Commendation, year 10, Mathematics and Science. First place, year 10, Hard Materials, Metal and Food Technology. Rinshika Deo, Commendation, year 10, Mathematics and PE. Distinction, year 10, English, Science and Ag Hort. First place, year 10, Art and Enterprise Studies. Makaya, Ngahuya, Dejon, Hicks, Brody, Sari. Makaya Everett, Commendation Year 10 Mathematics, Hard Materials Wood, English and Science. Distinction Year 10 Social Studies, PE and Enterprise Studies. First place, Year 10, Ag Hort. Ngahuya Ihaka, Commendation, Year 10, Social Studies and English. First place in Year 10, Literacy. Dejon Kingi, Distinction, Year 10, Hard Materials, Wood and Music. First place, Year 10, PE. Melville High School Cup, Year 10, Health and Physical Education. Hex Markland, Commendation, Year 10, Social Studies, Mathematics, English, Enterprise Studies and Science. Distinction, Year 10, PE, First Place, Year 10, Music. Brody Pukiro, Commendation, Year 10, Social Studies, Mathematics, Science and PE. First Place, Year 10, DVC. Sari Tichborn, Commendation, oh, Year 10, Social Studies, English, Music and Science. Distinction, Year 10, Mathematics. First place, Year 10, Te Reo Māori. Yeah.
So be proud of all your achievements this year. Even those who didn't come up on stage, still be proud of what you've achieved this year because whatever you have done is setting you up for next year. And just remember next year, you're gonna still be my babies. Congratulations to Year 10 students for your achievements. Also want to acknowledge uh, Mrs Peterson, who's been tireless in her commitment to our students this year, and we thank you Fire, for your contribution. I'd now like to welcome and introduce our first musical item for today's proceedings. to James. We'd like to ask Clay and his group to come forward, please. Thank you. So Melbourne's not just about academics, we're also about our culture. So can you join with me in congratulating our students again, please? Thank you, students. I'd now like to invite Mr Clive Hamill to give his principal's address. Thank you, Mr Hamill. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here and my pleasure uh, to acknowledge the recipients of the awards. 
And I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Matua and uh, uh, Fire Liz for jo joining us uh, today. One of the neat things uh, about our community uh, is there's something unique and special uh, about us. And the fact that uh, we're excited and respectful about each of the award winners and the fact that each of those students deserve those award and that success needs to be acknowledged no matter how small in that regard. Well, this year has been uh, quite an eventful and successful year. Uh, again, we started academically uh, with the results from last year as some of our best ever, and our Māori and Pacifica rates uh, were at record levels, well above uh, national averages. All of you are aware that uh, next year uh, we will cease to exist at the end of the year, but schooling in South Hamilton will still carry on here and uh, our board uh, is excited about our new school opening here in 2024. And the prospect of our staff uh, joining the new school is also pleasing. However, while my tie might reflect dream time uh, in the future and is very, very positive and comes from the Walukuru Lungu people of Northern Territories in Australia, the pathway ahead uh, will not necessarily be straightforward. So the board has set us just some simple goals for us to pursue. Student achievement for every student, and staff and student wellbeing, and a bit of fun uh, thrown in there as well. And those are our, our board's goals. At this point in time, we uh, are becoming more and more directed by the ministry going forward. And uh, essentially for us, that means that often we cannot share with you what we know. And often some of the things that we do are not driven by our board and our mission statement but driven by factors outside our control. The establishment board of our new school uh, will be deciding everything about that school. The consultation has mostly happened uh, in that regard and the establishment board will be seeking your opinion uh, about things but you need to know that those goals are our board's goals for us for next year. We're currently working about once a week and meeting with the ministry uh, in that regard. And I describe them as a great big uh, military band. And they're doing a slow march at present. Well, it appears to us they're doing a slow march. And uh, the challenge for us is though we want to make magic happen and uh, a focus on our students, the ministry is currently calling the shots. They are being supportive, but it's a pretty slow march that they're undertaking. So sometimes we are unable to share information with you and that's why we've made good contact with Hawara uh, High School and Hawara Intermediate, who are in their last days of existence because they've been through this process a year ahead of us. And so the acting principal at, at the high school is John Ross. And some of uh, you adults might remember him because he was a DP here at Melville. So for us, a visit or two was well on the cards. The first one, Peter and I went, and we didn't have consent to go, but we went anyway. And then a fortnight ago, uh, we went uh, again. So this time two uh, senior leadership uh, people came and two board members. And having the board there was invaluable 
because as you know, we're self-governing entities, except when you go through a restructure, uh, and the, the power and knowledge and understanding of the board is very important. The things that we found there in our last trip were really exciting. Essentially, the three schools were operating on what, as one. So for three days, your normal teacher uh, taught you. On one day, collectively, all uh, intermediate and high school uh, year nine and ten students, because their seniors are off on exam leave, uh, were doing uh, really exciting activities. And then on the Friday, the new school teachers uh, took and taught the students. The other teachers loved it because they had Fridays off, I beg your pardon. They had Fridays uh, for professional development and, and learning. What was exciting is I was in the staff room of the high school, and that's where the intermediate and the uh, year nine and tens were, and I bumped into a group of uh, seven, uh, uh, seven and eight t teachers. Only one of them had applied for a position at the new school. Two of them had, had gone to work for Fonterra because they liked the prescribed hours and the, the better pay. Uh, one was on uh, study leave and one was taking redundancy. But they were all positive about where they were finding themselves at this time of the year. And that was because the process worked through had involved all three schools. They also had plans for uh, rebuilding their school community over time. They also are really exploring new ways of teaching and learning. And they also, not also, and they have awesome community facilities right next door. Uh, a double uh, basketball court sized recreation facility with uh, seating for spectators and all those sorts of things, uh, a squash court and some, something else. So that was uh, what the community had, had requested and I think uh, our establishment board is going to need our help to make sure that we get those opportunities as well. So we know there are going to be challenges uh, next year. Uh, one of the interesting things, we've appointed some new staff and they all know that the school is closing and they all know that they have an opportunity to, to join us to do something a little bit different uh, next year. So for us, uh, there's some exciting things. For you guys, there's a school production, uh, the first time we've had one in a long time and that will be uh, in term one. Of course, we'll have the Shining Light uh, Talent uh, Quest, and we'll have a mini 60th Jubilee uh, in, in Term 2. We're saying it's, we're in our 60th year next year. We don't actually uh, have our 60th to the beginning of February in 2024, but like most, most some mature parents, uh, people, like our grandparents, they always say uh, that they are in the next year of their life. When uh, I remember my gr grandmother saying uh, that, sh that she wasn't 82, she was actually in her 83rd year. So we thought we'd take a bit of tradition there and give that a framework for our, our reunion. One of the things that uh, the board believes in uh, is the fact that we need to be prepared uh, for next year. And if we uh, are able to do so, that we will be able to uh, respond positively to the challenges. So as a result, we've employed six extra teachers. We're part way through the process of appointing eight extra teacher aides. By the way, um, if you're a kaiarahi leo uh, or an experienced teacher aide, come and see me because uh, we've got opportunities uh, for you next year. The other thing is that uh, we're introducing Māori and performing, uh, Pacifica Performing Arts. We're uh, going to have passion half days where we follow our passions or we give service to our community. We're providing every student with an online learn subject specific range of uh, 
electronic learning tools and they can use those at school and at home. We've got extra students taking part in video conferencing through what used to be known as volcanics uh, in that regard. So we are taking some steps to make sure that your learning needs are met. The uniform, we made it simpler uh, and cheaper uh, for families. And for example, your polo tops, I was in a warehouse and spotted them for two for 32 uh, dollars uh, in that regard. So that for this brief period, uh, there will be uh, strategies to support our, our families. Last year we were swallowed up by COVID and we had a sustained period of illness for our teachers and for our students. And these two in, uh, issues have impacted on our ability of our students to be successful in NCA. And for our year 13s, this was the third year in a row of having to bear the burden of those consequences. However, our teachers have been here to yesterday supporting our students and some have foolishly offered to help next week too. We bid farewell uh, to several staff uh, who have served us well. Uh, uh, we lose uh, Sangeeta Achari and she's off to, to Kofata uh, College and we've appointed uh, a new uh, assistant principal in her, part, uh, in her place. Uh, we wish you well there. We thank, and I particularly thank you for the support that you provided me and the school during the challenging time of uh, Jade and Sharon's passing. Lawrence Manders, who's been the head of technology, uh, is, is heading off. And I thank Lawrence for managing a very challenging um, uh, time. Technology teachers are as scarce as and currently, because it's the, of the demand of the building industry, building and construction industry, where they can get far more uh, on the tools than here. And Lawrence man, managed that exceedingly well uh, in that regard. To Doug, uh, who's uh, leaving for the second time, uh, we, and has been helping out in our maths department, I acknowledge, acknowledge you. And also we've had uh, staff have been here for a year and for different reasons are moving on. So that's uh, Swati and Marisha uh, in that regard. So, so we wish, wish you well uh, in, in that regard. In the background we have people who have worked fixed terms, so that just means that like most of you would be very familiar with that, but for teachers it's, uh, it's a new challenge for us. For example, since May, I haven't been able to offer a permanent job to anybody. Uh, so they have had to take a, a fixed term contract. And for people who are migrants, uh, that doesn't help their immigration status. So it has been a bit of a challenge. So having those extra teachers in hand uh, is important. So guys, most of what I'm talking to you about is really for your whanau, so that they realise that uh, bring it on next year. We've really had a great opportunity this year to celebrate uh, our strengths. I talked about the Melville Shining Moments. Uh, we have ce uh, celebrated uh, Pacifica Language Days. We had an outstanding Pacifica Fauna, Fauna uh, concert and we strengthened our relationship with uh, Ngāti Mahanga uh, when we hosted the spectacular uh, Kahui Aoko Cultural uh, Unity Day here. It was ex really exciting to see our community here. So for next year, I'm uh, excited about the opportunities. God willing, I'll be here to hand over the keys uh, on the 31st of uh, December. And uh, really our uh, guiding motto and those two goals will help shape what we do. And lastly, um, I wish you all well uh, over the, the Christmas break. It's a time to enjoy your time off. If you've got spare time in your 10s, um, uh, we live at 17 Queenwood Ave and got a really good mower. Uh, 
Okay, I, I, I pay uh, 50 cents uh, for the first hour and then I'll double it for the second hour. So just, just make contact with me there. I look forward to catching up with you next year. Please monitor uh, your uh, Facebook uh, of, of our, our school page because, uh, as I said, I am restricted with what I can share with you. But what you need to know is the Board of Trustees and the leadership team look like calm and pristine swans on top of the water, but we're paddling really hard to prepare for next year. So congratulations once again uh, to our students. Uh, well done. Uh, and uh, be safe over, over Christmas. Norera, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā mā koutou, kato. Kia ora. I'd now like to take the time to thank Mr Hamill for his guidance. 2022 has proved another difficult year. COVID's fast becoming a dirty word. And as the Minister announced this year, our impending closure at the end of next year. So as Mr Hamill said, our use of GPS to navigate the uncertainty that is coming up with dignity and mana is awesome. So thank you, Mato. I want to acknowledge your tireless effort and commitment to continuing to focus on our student-centred and student-focused kaupapa of our kura, and that's, that's us, that's Melville. So thank you very much, Matua. I'd now like to invite uh, Mrs uh, Liz Willis. She's one of our long-serving Board of Trustees members to give her address. Thank you, Fai. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, sorry, I just look out at the students and I'm very grateful that you're all still here and with your families. I'm sure you're very well aware the last couple of years have been very difficult, difficult for families, difficult for our school, difficult for life in general. And uh, we're very, very grateful that you, our students, are still here. Melville High School would just be buildings without you. So congratulations. Thank you for being here. Thank you, families, for supporting us and remaining here, because the next 12 months is not going to be easy. And uh, we've been sitting in meetings for close to six years as this uh, process has begun for the new school. And the main reason we did this was that the future for the students that choose to come to this school here in this area could give them success, could give them a future. Uh, it wasn't just about better buildings, it was about better pathways, better teaching, and just more success for the students of Melville High School, or whatever name the school is going to be in 2024. Um, I've had a long association with Melville High School. My brother played soccer here in the late 1990s. Mr. Russell was his coach. Um, not much talked about school-wise, but he had great success as a soccer player. Um, he now works in the Australian Army has be, and has been posted to Malaysia and still plays soccer. And, uh, and uh, I guess a bit like uh, Mr. O'Leary, has a love for the sport. And that came from Melville High School. I've had five of my own seven children come here. And we don't live here in the Melville area, but there was something about this school that I felt would give them something for the rest of their lives. And so I actually haven't had a student here for two years, but they still talk about Melville. They still meet with their friends. There's just something about our school that has kept us here. 
and I guess that's the same for you. So um, today I represent um, the school board and uh, want to also say thank you to our staff. Um, Mr Hamill and I, um, along with our other board members, work very closely together. I know the hours that he personally puts in to make sure that things are happening behind the, th the scenes, things that none of us actually know or see. Um, he not only loses sleep, and as my friend, I'm sure he won't be offended when I say, he also loses hair. You know, he spends that much time on things that really matter to keeping the school running well. And it may not seem it to everybody else, but you need someone like that to, ske to keep things running in a school this size. Um, as a board, we want to say thank you to all our staff that have remained loyal and that have uh, been here throughout um, the last few years. We know it hasn't been easy. Thank you. Um, and uh, just know, even though we don't personally say it to each of you, we appreciate that you are still here and that you'll still be here next year um, for those that stay. We want uh, the best for our students in 2024 and for you year nines and tens, you'll be the new seniors of the new school, you know, so you'll have your part to play and we're all looking forward to that. Um, to close, I'd like to leave a quote that, um, that I've used in my life and it goes like this. We have a living to get what we need, but in our life, and to make a life, we have to give. And I kind of feel that really suits our school motto, um, to serve and to work. So sometimes we have to work hard to get a living, but when we look at the things we really have in this life, um, we get more by what we give. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas with your families and a Happy New Year. Please stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Liz. I'd like to acknowledge you and the board for the mahi that you do, um, as you say, behind the scenes, the governance, um, the guidance that you give Melbourne High School, it doesn't go unnoticed and it really is appreciated, so thank you. I'd now like to invite our 2023 head students to give the address. Mr. Bolivana Katsuo, my name is Elijah Hicks, and I'm your head student for 2023. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate the prize winners today. It fills me with so much hope to see the amazing future leaders of Melville. Also a big thank you to the teachers and support staff. It may not have been one of the easiest years, but thanks to you, I think it's been one of the best. If you didn't receive an award today, do not be disheartened, for I have been in the exact same situation as you. As you may or may not know, I am greatly devoted to the field of sports. I've had the opportunity to represent our school, our region, and been invited to represent our country. All of this only being achieved through hard work, determination, and discipline. But truth be told, it was a struggle to get where I am. Well, I wasn't always a first pick. I wasn't always in the starting team. Nevertheless, through all the trials and tribulations, I never gave up on my goals, which brought me to where I am now. That's the message I want to share with you all today. Whatever your goal is in life, you will most definitely be approached with hard times. But whatever you do, never give up hope. Because there's always sunshine after the rain. No struggle is going to be forever. You will always prevail. So go into next year with your head held high and your brain on focus mode, ready to tackle any challenge that comes your way. But for now, enjoy your holidays and have a good summer. Thank you. Um, good afternoon everyone, my name is Ella Harvey and I'm your Deputy Head Student for 2023. 
First and foremost, congratulations to everyone who has received an award today. Well done. I've been raised in Hamilton my whole life, and Marvel has always had a special place in my heart, since my Marvel Intermediate days to my high school days, and I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for the love and support from my friends and teachers. My goal for 2023 is for the students to become close to each other and form friendships and bonds to end Marvel High School on a high note, both happily and successfully in their education. Through organizing workshops and activities, which are enjoyable. I want 2023 to be enjoyable, not just for the year 13 students, but for all students. What I would bring to the table as deputy head student is I'm honest, loving, and caring to others and care for students a lot and will be a voice for them. I look forward to creating as many memories as possible with you all and carrying on the legacy of Marvel High. I'm greatly excited to be your deputy head student for 2023 and all the highs it's going to bring. Have a great holiday, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Kia ora everyone, my name is Cody Terangi. As some of you may know, I'm assistant head student in 2023. Um, I would like to take this chance to congratulate everyone on winning a prize today, even to those who don't receive a reward because I believe we are all unique in our own way and we should all celebrate. I'm in year 12 now and this is my fourth year here at Marvel High School. My favorite subject is P with Mr. Eddie but I would like to also thank all the teachers for supporting and believing in me throughout the years. It is through your support that I have been able to achieve academically, and I thank you. I'm looking forward to having a great year next year with you all, and hopefully we can all work together to make the most of 2023. I wish you all a safe Christmas holiday, and I can't wait to see you all again. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon to you all. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, good afternoon to you all. My name is Kylie and I'm your other assistant head student for 2023. I'll start off by saying congratulations to all prize winners. It's been a tough year coming back to school with the self-isolation thing and the whole school restructure with teachers moving in and out. Nevertheless, you deserve these awards, so please be proud of them and what you have accomplished this year. Even if you did not receive one, we still recognize your work ethic and determination, so do not be distressed, we still have next year. About myself is that I'm very easy to approach and I love to give a helping hand. Majority of the time I run a cheerful energy and I love to make people laugh. So if you see me around, don't be afraid to say hi or ask for help, I'm always up for the challenge. I look forward to 2023 with you all, and I hope we share lots of exciting memories, as we know that 2023 will be the final year of Marvel High School. Thank you. Well, that is a very high bar that you've set for 2023, guys. Thank you very much. We now move on to the prestigious awards. It's okay, it's the last awards. These, these awards recognise students who have performed exceptionally well, and these students have demonstrated an unrelenting commitment to academic excellence. So without further ado, it's my honour and privilege to announce the prestigious awards for 2022, and I'd like to ask Mr Hamill to present these, please. Thank you, Mato. So first up, Arika Jolif. <laughs> Commendation, Year 9 DTE, English and Ag Hort. Distinction, Year 9 Art, Hard Materials, Wood, Science and PE. First place in Year 9 Drama and Hard Materials Metal, 
and winner of the Junior Drama Cup. Thank you. Pepe Rereo James Kawamura. Commendation, Year 9, Year 9 Social Studies, Art, English and PE. Distinction, Year 9 Te Reo Māori and Science. And our best junior orator. Masaki Ebene. Commendation, Year 9 Art. Distinction, Year 9 Mathematics, Enterprise Studies, Science, Ag Hort and Music. First place, Year 9 Social Studies in English. The Austin Trophy for Year 9 for Excellence in Social Studies. The Cup for Year 9 English and the Melville High School Trophy for Top Achiever in Year 9. Masaki Ebony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Masaki Ebony. We now move on to our year 10. Drea Strother. <laughs> Commendation, year 10 mathematics, English, art and ag hort. Distinction, year 10 DVC and drama. First place in social studies and science. The Melville High School Cup for year 10 science. The Austin Trophy for year 10 for excellence in social studies and the Melville High School Trophy for Top Achiever in Year 10. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Top Year 10 student, Drea. Thank you, Clive. So this brings us to our end of our prize giving today. Once again, a big thanks ex ex is extended to you, our community in Fano, and we join in you with celebrating for your child's success and achievement. Acknowledgements must also go out to our staff who have worked hard to ensure the success of our prize giving today and the dedication of all Melville High School staff who embody service and working hard every day. Finally, to you our prize winners, congratulations, you embody our school motto, hey Afina, hey mahi. We wish you all a safe, happy and merry Christmas and look forward to continuing our academic mahi with you all in 2022, sorry, 2023, my apologies. I'd now like to invite Matua Anthony to conclude our proceedings today with uh, Karakia Whakamutinga and I'm sure then all our students will celebrate that the 2022 school year is over. But before we finish, there's also light refreshment in the staff room for Fano at the conclusion. Mato. Katira, kia ora no. Just a couple of words of encouragement. All our students that came up here on uh, on our, uh, I don't know, art here, he took the first step. That first step is getting up here and to be recognised by all your peers, it's even better. So when you stand here, you don't stand alone, you stand with your parents who are here to support you, your grandparents as well, and all our teachers, they, they're here to support you as well. And also those who have gone in the past, so you, you know, your, your ancestors. So that's the that I had when I came here. 
the only time I stood up here is when I got the leaver certificate, like Kariati. And I was gone. Uh, and that was seven form. Uh, so I went right through, third form to seven. I got everything here. Um, I was a geek, basically. Um, so I, first 15, they kissed me, kicked me game called soccer. I still call it kiss me, kick me, or not that. Uh, softball, we had softball here. Uh, I was good at chess, drafts. I did everything. So there's no whittle challenge. The challenge is in you to be the person you want to be. So um, that's probably the main thing I, I say. To all our, our parents and our grandparents that came here, thank you. Um, without your support, uh, our students wouldn't be here. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next year. I'm actually on the board of the establishment board as the mana whenua rep for Mahanga. So, probably, uh, if you've got any questions, yeah, you know, took an to them, but um, I'm always approachable. I live in Ricky here, so we're third generation. After World War II, we came up and worked on the gardens at Chinaman Hill. Um, so that's from my background. Um, and then, in the days, yeah, Melbourne High School was rocking. It was really rocking. And it's, oh no, I made a hope to continue to do so, um, to rock. Um, as for the name, yeah, it's a work in progress. I can tell you now that we've asked our king to give a blessing to her name because this is in Kingitanga, the Rohi or Kingitanga. Even though we're Mahanga, White Eddie, and everybody else, still has to meet the approval of that lady's uh, uh, son, that lady up there on that wall, uh, her son, to hate you. So we, he's overseas at the moment, speaking overseas to our whānau, uh, our tōkana, no tāwāhi, ko tai mai nei. Yeah, I love lollies too, so you'll probably be popular after this, you know, with lollies. Um, but in saying that, have a, the rest of the year, be safe, be well, and keep your bubble safe. And, um, that's probably the best thing I could say. Uh, and on that note, um, I'll finish off with our karaki here. Um, those you know, our, our Christian mana, I'll do it in Māori, um, just to give it a little mana. No rere kanui. Kia tau, kia tātou katoa, te atawhai tō tātou, a riki a ihu kraiti. Me te arohao, te atawhai, me te whifi ino atei tangi ki te wairu tapu. Ake, ake, ake. Amen. Kia ora whāna.